Hi crocheters of the world, in this tutorial I want to show you how to crochet this shawl. I am working on it here, uh, but I am so, so uh, happy to show you how to work it. So um, I, I cannot wait to finish it to show you how to work it, because it's, it's, look at it, look at it. It's not that I have to tell you how it is, just lovely. And even if it seems to be intricate and um, difficult, believe me, it is not. So, let's see how to work. Now, here I am working, this is um, the yarn that uh, from Ice Yarns that I worked, uh, I already worked a uh, set of, matching set of uh, Jasmine Stitch Circular Scarf and uh, Buried, so you have the link below, so you can see the, the yarn to the name and all um, and it looks just gorgeous I am working on this and this will be my shawl uh, I am working on this shawl with a 3.5 millimeters hook now uh, in the tutorial I will work with uh, a uh, cotton and acrylic yarn just to show you how it looks so this is with mohair and it looks like this oh sorry this is the it, this was the wrong side even if it's beautiful and this is actually the right side and um, in the tutorial I will work with this uh, yarn and with three millimeters hook just because I want to show you how it looks without this nice mohair so even if we want to work it in uh, maybe a summer something uh, so in uh, for a uh, summer version yes so we will we begin with four chains and we want to close these four chains in round so we insert hook into the very first so you have two loops over the hook and one loop under the hook like this skip it and yarn over pull through both now we have our little uh, circle here where we will work the beginning so chain three and this chain three doesn't count as a stitch. Insert hook into our chain four uh, circle and work. Uh, the double crochet in this particular uh, pattern will be worked elongated, which means yarn over pull through one, so only one, then yarn over pull through two and pull through two. So this is how we will work the double crochet. Now this is one and let us work one more. So yarn over pull through one pull through two and pull through two. This is two. Chain two and now we will continue like this working two double crochets. One. So when I will say double crochet but we will work it like this. One and two. Chain two again. This is the second group of two. Now again one double crochet and the second double crochet. Oops second double crochet and chain two again this is the third group of two divided by a chain two now go let's go with the fourth we will need five now we have it chain two and the last group of two double crochet one and So pull through one, pull through two and pull through two. Now we have five groups of two double crochets divided by chain two, four chain two spaces. Let us begin with the pattern stitch chain three and uh, turn your work. Uh, at the beginning and at the end of each, I will put it like this, this is the right side, at the beginning and at the end of each row we will actually work this um, shell so chain three I said doesn't count as a stitch and work into the first chain to space your shell so two double crochets long double crochets chain two and two more long double crochets one and two Now chain one and let us begin with the first row. There are two rows to repeat 
and I will show you how to increase actually, but two rows to repeat for the pattern. Now first we will actually work this bumped shell here, crisscross shell I can name it. So we will uh, skip the first chain to space and insert hook into the next and work six long, long double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and now we want to, as I said, we want to crisscross the shells. This is the first one. And to crisscross them so with the second, the second will be work into the skipped chain to space. So we are now work, insert hook into the skip chain to space and work the second shell, which means we will work again six double crochets. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. Okay, so we have our completed shell. So this is one of the most important uh, stitch, let's say, of the pattern the crisscrossed shell. Okay, and now we will chain one and skip into the last chain two space where we will work our uh, finished, our border, sorry, border shell. So two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. This is how we begin, this is how we finish. So the, into the last and into the first chain two space we work this. Okay, and this is what we have so far. Now, let's go with the second row of the pattern, the, the shell, crisscrossed shell pattern. Uh, each row begins with chain three, doesn't count as a stitch, and into the chain two space, we work our uh, border shell. At the beginning and at the end, we will work it in each row. So two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. Worked as a long elongated double crochets. Okay. We will always chain one and we will begin with the pattern stitch. Now the second row for the pattern stitch will be worked like this. We will work twelve we will work twelve, twelve uh, double crochets, long double crochet or elongated double crochets, but we will work them in a different way that we are used to. Insert hook like this into the first, like this, okay? So from the bottom and right side into the stitch. Very important. And pull up a loop, work your double crochet. Now from the second we will work like this. We insert hook into the very first that we worked in and then we will go into the next that we have to work. Okay? This is the interesting way that we will work the double crochet. This is the second. Then into the stitch that we worked and then go back into the stitch that we have to work. Again into the stitch that we worked and into the very next stitch. We go out. We go in into the stitch that we worked and we come out into the stitch that we have to work. So the very next uh, stitch. Into the stitch that we worked and like this. And this is how we go on and we will have at the end our 12 long double crochets. And this is actually, these are the two rows that we will repeat for the pattern stitch. And now let me show you how we will go on and 
actually increase because we will have okay and this is the last stitch so insert hook into the stitch when you already worked and come out into the stitch that you have to work oops only that one and work the last stitch now we have our 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 chain one always chain one uh, in between the border and the pattern stitch so when you work the border the beginning and the final border two double crochets chain two and two double crochets into the chain two space previous chain two space okay again we want to chain three come back and this is what we have look at it okay now again into the chain two space work your beginning border shell border one two chain two and again one and two. chain one always chain one and now let me show you how we will continue on to increase now to increase we will work one shell here and one shell here so as you can see we have two okay so the second so we will cross crisscross the second will be worked here into the chain two space the first we skip two double crochets and in between the stitches one two here we go and we work the very first shell which means we work six long double crochet or elongated double crochets three four five and six and I want to come back and to work the one that we crisscross into the chain one space in between the border shell and the pattern stitch actually one and the second two three it's a little bit strange until we get the hang of it four five and six okay now uh, we will again work like this so in the middle we will uh, count one two three four five six and in between here into the stitches in between the stitches sorry first chain one and then again one two three four five six here in the middle we will single crochet chain one and we will work the next border shell not border shell but this one the, the first the last of the pattern stitch and will be worked exactly the same only that first we will work into the chain one space and then to crisscross we will work it skipping this two and in between here okay one two three four five and six and these two are actually the shells crisscross shells that we will uh, increase with okay and these two are the shells that we will increase it and into the very next two rows not this one the next but the very next two I will show you how to work the shells in the middle and that's all okay now I will go back as I said skip these two double crochets and here in the middle so exactly as we worked uh, for the first shell only that we, we we work it on the contrary because we work first shell 
first part of the shell into the chain one space and the second part uh, between the stitches. We skip two double crochets and we work it. Now we have one, two, three, four, five and six. Okay, we have it. Chain one and let us begin with our chain two uh, chain two shell. So into the chain two space work your shell, the final shell. With two double crochets, chain two and two more double crochets, one and two. Okay, so this is what we have now. And the second row of the pattern, one, two, three, we turn, we work into the chain two, the beginning group of two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Okay, we chain one, always chain one, and now we will work 12, exactly as I shown you, the first 12, the chain one and the other 12. So when we work the second row of the pattern, so the first row are the crisscross shell, the second row are the, uh, the 12 double crochets that we have to work on the crisscross shells, and in between them we will work only a chain one, okay, that's all. And I, I shown you, it's like this that we insert hook work the first one and then into the stitch that we worked and into the next two and so on three four five Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and now the last twelve. Like this. And as I said, in between them we chain one, yarn over, and let us begin with the next shell. Again, exactly the same way we enter, insert the hook. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven and twelve, and we go out into the last chain one and finish with your final shell border shell two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. Okay into the next two rows we will actually understand perfectly how to work it look at it so even if you work it in cotton so even if you want the the summer version it's beautiful okay so let's see so as I 
told you before, the first and the last shell will be to increase. So we will increase by two shells. So we have one, now we have two. Okay, we increased. And now we will have one and two, and one more, three. Okay, then we will have four and five and so on. So, one, two, and three. Turn, work your border shell. Chain two, and the other one. Chain one, always chain one. And now work your shell. So skip two, in between the stitches you insert hook and work one, two, three, four, five, and six. There are six stitches that we need. And the other half to crisscross, we work it into the chain one space. We crisscross one, two, three, four. Keep it nice and tight when you work this crisscross shell. Four. Like this. Five and six. And now we will skip one, two, three, four, five, six, and in between by all always chain one, always forget about one, two, three, four, five, six, and here in the middle. We, of the 12 double crochets we single crochet, chain one and here in the middle we will work one more and then we will work other more and how to work them in the middle now we will mm, work them here so one and two it's here that we work the first and then back here we work the other one so let me show you one Two, three, four, five, and six. Then we come back, as I said, on the other shell here in this space. So one, two, here. Yarn over, insert hook, and work it. One, two. Try not to work over four, five, and six. Okay, as I said, try not to work them over. Okay, and that's it. Now work the last. First of all, we will chain one, finally, I remember. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here in the middle, we will single crochet, chain one. And now we will work the last one, and we know into the chain one, we work the first six. One, two, three, four. Five, 
six and then two double crochets and here into the space in between we work the other six to crisscross one and we finish the row by chaining one and of course working our two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets into the last one, two, three, four, into the last into the chain two space, five and six so chain one and work the final shell, two double crochets, chain two and two more double crochets okay let me show you how it looks so you can figure out here it is lovely isn't it lovely 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 okay now the second row of the pattern it's really easy we will just work 12 chain 1 12 chain 1 12 chain 1 so we chain 3 to begin to turn actually then we work into the chain 2 space 2 double crochet chain 2 2 double crochet chain 1 we will work 12 double crochet as you know that we have to work them then to skip from one shell to another we just chain 1 in between okay work this and I will be back to show you one more time how to work actually the most mm, important part of this uh, pattern which is actually which are the the shells the crisscross shells so as you can see I already worked my 12 12 12 with chain one in between so this is really really easy and just to show you one more time so to explain actually one more time how you have to work the shells in the middle so into the pattern let's say and uh, at the end at the beginning and at the end for you to understand we work like this so I already worked the shell at the beginning chain one I chained one and now the first one we know that we uh, skip these two the first two we insert hook into this space here and we work one two three four, five, and six and then we come back into the chain one space and we come and we work the other part of the shell so again six one two three, four, five, and six. This is the beginning one. And then in the middle, in the middle we will work them in between here here and as we go on we have we will have you will have more as you can see and we will work them so always chain one don't forget to chain one when you finish and one two three four five six here into the in between the stitches single crochet and chain one and to begin to work another crisscross we will work it like this here and here so first we will skip two go here and work first one two three four five and six and then we will come back and we will skip two of the other shell insert hook and work one a 
you just have to find the perfect position to work to this one that we crisscross three and this is four I think this is it five and you will have to find your I have one two three four five and the last one and six again chain one don't forget to chain one and to single crochet here one two three four five six here in between so in the middle chain one more and go on and work this one and then the last one we know where to work so this is how we work the shells this is how we work the shells and then we know how to work to the uh, 12 double crochet chain one 12 double crochet chain one and so on so that's it it's pretty easy as i said at the beginning of the tutorial it's really really easy there is nothing to um i don't know frighten you <laughs> it's it's really easy and from my point of view it's just a lovely 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 pattern to work uh would be a lovely shawl when i finish it of course i put i will put uh, lots of fo photos with it. I just adore it. So I I'm just so curious to see the final result Anyway, when you finish yours, please 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 show me the photos of yours uh, I'm I'm curious of, uh, to see the yarn that you choose the colors that you choose if it is in um, Changing color yarn or only one color yarn or I don't know so you will finish so the the last row will be the second row this one with 12 double crochets and chain one so this is how we will finish the shawl so thank you uh, for watching hope you enjoy please subscribe if you are not a subscriber so if you uh, don't follow me uh, please subscribe if you like my tutorial so you won't miss another one don't forget to like don't forget to comment so i uh, we'll have some feedback from you and if you want something more, I don't know, to, to um, more um, from me to, to do a tutorial, you can write me and see you at the next tutorial. Bye bye.